Hi, this is Cynelia Benz, and as promised, I am now answering your questions from the Death of the Unspoken Truth class. If you haven't downloaded the class yet, you can get it from ineliabenz.com slash unspoken. This question comes from Roberta, and she says, I was told physically and clearly at age 40 in 1987 that I would die April 9th, 2009. This info was given so that I would know that no matter the situation, I would not die before then and thus would respond differently in, in danger situations. When the date passed and I didn't die, I was very angry for about two years. Now I see it was only one door of possibility. My entire life I have been guided by what I turned my guardian angel, Esmeralda. February 13, 2016, I went in for surgery to remove a tumour from within the right atrium of my heart. Esmeralda and other members of my healing spiritual team were right there with me going into surgery. I was officially dead at some point of the operation. When I woke up, Esmeralda was gone and has never returned. It's very lonely without her energies and I have to ask, why did she leave me? Where did she go? Should I have left too? I believe when I die, I go to another adventure and look forward to the experience. Thanks for your insight. That's an amazing experience. I had an experience where a guardian angel um, vanished from my life. And what I later learned was that it wasn't that he had vanished, but that I had changed. Uh, my frequency was such that he couldn't reach me anymore or even find me. So I couldn't really say why Esmeralda vanished from your life. This is a very, very specific, very personal experience for you. And unless um, you go to a seer, a medium, or somebody who can do spiritual sessions to really look into your own personal story and history and situation, um, the answers might be difficult to come across. Um, generally speaking, I can make some comments about it, right? One of them would be that, yes, it seems that um, the date you were given was a door in 2009. I am not sure why you would be told that uh, that was a door you were going to exit. Um, it feels that it was placed so that you would indeed, like you mentioned, respond in a very different manner in situations of danger. What concerns me is the feeling of anger that you had for two years afterwards, right? Because it illustrates or maybe it hints at perhaps not being satisfied with your life and that you were actually looking forward to living then. Um, so to me that would be a more of a pressing situation or aspect. It feels also that three years ago in 2016 when you went through your surgery and died a few times that you did indeed change your mind and came back about dying and my hope is that you are very much enjoying life and using the opportunity of life um, to have the experiences that are high frequency and wonderful. I would work on the intent of why you're here, your core recent animating energies. These are things that I have covered in other classes and the bonus class that you received, I'm sure is going to help clarify um, your life experience um, as you move forward what when we feel that the the angel left us the guardian angel left us um, like I said I had an experience like that myself 
and it wasn't that he left but that he couldn't find me because my frequency at the time was so low and actually I had put in shields to protect me um, and I hadn't been diligent enough to make sure that the shields allowed high frequency beings to see me and help me and support me in my life. <laughs> so it kind of backfired. It just shielded me for everything and everybody. Have a look at that. Um, also, you can do a guided meditation, a guided um, um, experience daydream where you meet her and just have an imaginary conversation with her. Uh, you can re-establish a communication channel that way. And you might, even if you think, oh, well, it's a daydream, so I imagined it all, it's fine. It doesn't matter if you just imagined it, because if it helps, then it's just as powerful, just as useful as if she was there. And often that's what it, all it takes is to for us to have daydreams or have an altar, create an altar and sit down and invite our guardian angel back in to re-establish that direct connection with them. So I hope you can do that and um, I hope that it's helpful and you reconnect with your guardian angel. Thank you. The information in this video relates to my class, Death, the Unspoken Truth. If you haven't downloaded the class yet, you can get it from ineliabenz.com slash unspoken.